Hello everyone, welcome back to our next video. Today we're going to talk to Jim from Denver again. Uh, last time we, he told us all about how to have a really cheap and uh, very effective internet and today he's going to tell us how to get it uh, boosters and antennas if you're in an area where it's not very good. So Jim, uh, you're, as a boondocker you must be a lot of places where the signal is very weak. Right. And mountain ranges and top uh, topography really affects it. Uh, a long distance off to the cell towers, um, multiple cell towers, it's, it's not always easy to find it. And uh, because you were a businessman and a boondocker, you had to have signal. I, I had to be in contact with my customers when I boondocked up in the Rockies. So what, what did you find was a solution? Um, I, I, I'm using... A, uh, a booster, a uh, Wilson mobile booster, and a Wilson directional antenna, and um, a connecting cable between the two. Uh, using network cell light, I find the towers and, and aim the antenna to it, and that, that, that gives me the best possible solution I can get. And that was a app that that reads and finds uh, towers. It, it, it tells you what the strength of your int your signal is, and you go to the map, and it shows you exactly what tower you're connected to. And what was the name again? Network Cell Info Light. And so that helps you to find where the tower is, and how and the strength you have. And it shows me where the tower is, where to point the antenna. And, and the strength of the signal grows, how, how it grows is, is I get the antenna closer. So this is an antenna that you have to aim? Correct. Yeah, it's not omnidirectional. And But actually that makes it work better. Much, pull in the... much stronger than the original antenna with the Wilson, uh, which is a, a little, little, little short stick that goes on top of your car. Mm -hmm. And so you will see a big jump in uh, boost in your signal? I, I, I see a, a huge gain in uh, dB um, and, and... And DC dB is? Oh boy. Decibels? Uh, decibel, yeah. yeah. When, when, you, when you look at your in, antenna signal, actually the lower the number, the better off you are. And, and so it, it'll drop. Um, right now I, I'm in the 60s for uh, Verizon and uh, I was in at 84 before I put up the antenna. Looking at the bars on the hot, hot spot itself, I went from three bars to six. Oh my. And uh, it doesn't work, you have all the networks, the major networks covered in your devices. Does it work for all the devices? Um, it, it works for all of the bands on all of the devices except band 41 on Sprint and even band 41 on Sprint gets a passive benefit from it. You, you don't even have to plug it in. Well we'll go inside and take a look at the actual booster. So you have two parts. You have the antenna which we're looking at now mm -hmm. and inside you have the booster. Correct. Which will take the antenna out here, grabs the signal, sends it down to the wire and then the booster boosts it. Correct. And, and my version is the original Wilson. It, it's renamed now WeBoost and, and uh, almost an identical product. I wouldn't spend any more money for the the Wii Boost. I, I don't think it's going to give you any more. No, actually, I called them uh, because I've been using the Wilson was originally called the Sleek, right? And I've been using a Sleek for a long time and having the exact same experience you've had. It really, really helps. Yep. And when they changed their company name and the name of that product, I called them and asked, and she admitted, no, there's absolutely no difference. It yep. is identical product. And uh, we should mention that uh, you can buy a sleek that does not work with 4G. You you can buy one that works just with 3G. Right. So you want to, if you have 4G, which most of us do, you want to make sure you buy the one that Correct. says 4G. And, and you and get the one that says 4G. You you don't have to have a a Verizon sleek or a, a AT and T sleek. You you can get one that's in general for them all. Okay, so people are probably thinking to themselves, well, well, you know, mounting this antenna must be really complicated. I don't think I can do that. Is it hard to mount the antenna? Not hard at all. I, I have a uh, flagpole mount that sits under the tire of the trailer. It allows me to put it on either side of the trailer. I can C-clamp it to the bumper. 
I can put it under my truck. Um, and, and then I use a window cleaning pole to, to mount the antenna head to. Uh, and it just uses U-bolts or, or yeah, U-bolts and, and clamps. Um, really simple. This is sitting on the tire of my trailer. The pole drops down in the tube. There's a, a screw on this side that tightens down and holds it in place. This is just a uh, window cleaning extension pole. There, there'd be a lot of varieties of this that you could buy different heights and ex, ex, extent. Oh, you I, could even get a uh, painter's pole from uh, Home Depot. Painter's pole would, would be uh, almost the same. And, and if, if you just had a, a piece of PVC pipe that was the right length, it doesn't have to be extendable. Um, this is one of my awning tie-down clips to keep it from moving around. And uh, there's my directional antenna and a binder clip TV antenna that I, I found the design on YouTube. So all this stuff you here you've got from uh, from Amazon, Amazon or eBay, right? I'll just go to Amazon, do a search on their Wilson directional antenna, the Wilson Sleek, or the Wee Boost. Correct, and, and and make sure you it, it'll tell you. Uh, what connectors you need to have to connect the two together and, and then you order just you you just add that into the search I, I need a end connector to wh wh how, however the two work out and, and just tell it the two ends and you need a cable and, and that that's how I found it just it, it t showed me exactly what cable I needed I actually found it a little complicated when I did it so I called I actually called Wilson and said, "This is I want to hook up your sleek to this antenna. What do I buy?" She told me exactly, gave me the part number, and I call and I got it off Amazon. So, you, worst comes to worst, you can call uh, Wilson, which is now WeBoost, and they'll they'll walk you through it. Right, but you you can get the specific cable. No adapters needed. Just uh, it screws into one end and it screws into the other. So uh, now you mentioned also that you've got a binder clip uh, TV antenna up there. Tell us about that. Um, I, I found the design for that on YouTube. You just take, I, I use eight binder clips on a, a little piece of wood. Um, some copper wire wrapped around both sides to connect all the binder clips. It, it hooks to uh, a, a piece of uh, coax, I think it's called. Um, and you, you need a 300 to 75 ohm converter to take that wire into your TV. That sounds complicated. It really isn't. You, you can buy the adapter at Walmart for a couple of dollars. Uh, speaker wire works to bring the, the signal down and, and the binder clips. Uh, I, I bet you can pick them up for oh, yeah. pennies a piece. Yeah. No, they're nothing. And when, when I lived in Denver, I lived about 40 miles from the antennas. I picked up 75 stations. Out here, I, I'm picking up at least 17 stations. Um, very simple, very easy to make, very inexpensive, and very effective. Cool. Cheap and, cheap and works. That's what we're after here. Yep. Very, uh, you, you don't need something you don't always need something really expensive and manufactured. So now we're inside, and Jim, can you show us your uh, WeBoost or Wilson Sleek uh, amplifier? Sure. It's a cradle model. Uh, I have my Verizon in it right now. It's just, it, it works both in the car and here. Uh, these adjust to, to take larger or smaller devices. The neat thing about it is it's not a, a singular device item. I, I can set multiple devices around it and they'll all pick up a boost. Yes, they all would, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Probably and the one in the cradle is the strongest, but all of them would get some. Um, actually, you, you don't even have to be right on top of it. Uh, you, you notice my, my T-Mobile's got a full signal. It, it's sitting a distance away from it. So how do they connect to your laptop or your cell phone or your whatever you're using, your iPad? Uh, the the hotspots? Yes. Uh, wirelessly, just like any wireless hotspot at McDonald's or, or any other place. So each one is becomes its own 
hot spot. It, it's its own hot spot. It, it, the, well, let's run through from the beginning to end. What happens worse, you get, you get to an area, you park, you set up, uh, you go outside and put up your antenna. How does the signal get in and get usable to you? I, I put up the antenna, uh, run the cable down into the booster. Um, literally, when I park, I, I stop, I turn on all of my devices to see which ones get any signal, which ones get a strong signal, which ones get the strongest, fastest signal. Then I connect the computer to them. I can go to their management screens and, and actually see DB numbers, connect wirelessly, see how well they stream. You know, the, uh, the antenna numbers, the, the bars you get, really your, your experience is, is the, the ultimate uh, factor um, how you you might be getting a lot of bars you you might not load anything you you might be on a congested tower you you might be roaming um, there there's a lot of factors so the numbers can be deceiving they're very deceiving right but I always turn them all on I, I like to record what works where mm -hmm. and uh, oh I, so you make a hobby of it at Ehrenberg you this was strong this was weak right and I, I, I try to report that back on the forum from time to time. Right. And uh, if you do a blog or anything, you say here at Ehrenberg, this works well and this doesn't. And right. That, that's helpful. Really helpful. And, and whether or not I need the booster. I, I don't always even have to use the booster. Right. Um, right. Which is convenient, you know, not having to set things up. Right. So um, let me just go through this the way it works. The, the antenna receives the cell phone signal, sends it down to the booster, the booster amplifies it, and then retransmits it as a Wi-Fi signal, just like a McDonald's hotspot. Correct. And then your, cell, your laptop, your iPad, your, your Kindle, whatever device. Your cell phone. Just your cell phone picks it up as a, a Wi-Fi signal. Correct. And locks on. Correct. Even my uh, Amazon Fire Stick for my TV. Right. And so it would play directly into your TV. Correct. Wouldn't ha wouldn't need any other device. No, no computer or anything. Now you're still using your cell phone data, the exact same way. You're correct. Right. So you, unless you have a lot like you do, you do have to be careful with that. You do have to pay attention. Um, if if you have Netflix, if you have YouTube. You, you can set limits on how much resolution you use. Right. Step the resolution down, save data. Correct. I, 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 I keep my resolution set to standard. I, I, there's nothing I'm going to see from a distance on a TV that really requires high definition. I, I, I'm, I'm very lucky with all the devices, but you, you, you take care of them and, and you use them properly and you know, it, it, you, you learn all the nuances. Right. Well, Jim, anything else we haven't covered? Have we got all the information out people need to duplicate your system? Well, you, you got to make sure you have power. Right. I don't care if it's 12 volt, uh, if you're using an external battery, if you can plug into an inverter, you, you've got to power your hotspots. You have to power the booster. You, you have to power your TV. Okay, well, Jim, thank you so much. You, you help people out with all this information. Let them know how they can get a signal wherever they are. And uh, if they need to run a business or stay in touch, they can do it. Right. Or, or just entertain themselves out here because it, it can be pretty boring. It can be, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. You, you can't make cookies every day. No, no. no you sure <laughs> It'd be nice. I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, well, Jim, thank you so much for sharing all that information that you've learned, and uh, we really appreciate it. You're, you're welcome, and if you need any more help, go to the forum, uh, cheaprvliving.com, and, and there's more information there. And they can ask you, and you'll answer. I, I do answer. Right. Um, I, I enjoy helping, and uh, I enjoy making sure people understand. Right. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video, and until next time, be sure to like us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and uh, follow your dreams. Never give up on your dreams. We'll talk to you later. Bye now.